G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, sad day morning here in Australia and the market has tanked. So obviously that's kind of still Friday night stateside time. Like we got up to 2.7 and boom, big massive drop down to $2.54 trillion and, you know, possibly still going lower. So shaking a lot of people out, Bitcoin dominance is down. There's a lot of volume. People are getting in and buying the dip. Bitcoin price 54,000 was even a little bit lower. We'll have to wait and see just how low it will go. And gas prices are around about 1071. But I mean, have a look at that. It is a bloodbath. But the upside to that is it could possibly be a really good buying opportunity again. If you're a smart investor, smart trader, whatever it may be, well, not so much trading, but, you know, because traders can make money uh, going up and down either way, but definitely investing. You want to buy into the red and sell into the green. It's just whether this is the right time to buy into the red. And I must stress, as always, this is never financial advice. This is just my personal opinion. But I can tell you what I did this morning. I bought. I bought some wax. I bought some sand. Uh, what else did I buy? I bought some engine, uh, a bit of alluvium. I think that was it. So some metaverse plays to get in. Not all of those were down. Wax was definitely down. I think engine might have been one of the ones that was up. Sand still a little bit up, but I think, you know, it was not a whole lot of money. It was just some of the profits that I had because I wanted more exposure to the metaverse. Uh, alluvium's up a whole lot, but it's very interesting that they are actually going to pay people in Ethereum. So... Uh, that is something I thought I'll get a little bit of exposure. And it really was just a little bit. I don't even own one alluvium coin. I mean, they're a thousand bucks or something like that. I think it was two thousand two hundred Australian dollars, so one thousand seven hundred dollars US, something like that. Anyway, yeah, bloodbath and double digits right across the board. Now it could go lower. Now what I want to show you is this article because I did mention this the other day. Bearish sentiment grips Bitcoin ahead of $3 billion option expiry. So that was sort of, you know, today, yesterday, uh, American time. So their Friday, that was when the options expired because that's the last Friday of the month. I've been saying this for a few days, nearly a week now, that nearly every Friday at the end of the month, the last Friday of the end of the month, there's a bit of a pullback and this one was a bit of a big one. So again, you just come back over here and have a look at the markets and I mean boom it was way down uh, I mean you know quite big I mean you know let's Bitcoin down 7% Ethereum down 9% BNB down 7% I mean yeah it was pretty brutal and again we saw some of the worst losses just before but again you got to ask yourself is this just a good buying point or again is now the fear set in is this the you know bear market is it going to crash you know 90 80% yeah, possible, absolutely possible. But there's another reason that's going on. So it's not just the options. There is the fear of a new strain of the, the dreaded disease. Now that has played a big part in the markets. But look at this, it's not just Bitcoin and Ethereum drop with new, with uh, stock, sorry, amid reports of a new strain. We go over to the S&P 500, have a look at that. I mean, that is brutal. That is one big drop right there. So... Try not to get too worried. Look, is it possible that we go into a bear market and this is it? Is it possible that there's a new massive crash, you know, much like the one that we had? And again, I'll just bring this in. Could we see something like this? Yeah, it's possible, but I just don't know if that's going to happen. And look, if it does, there's nothing we can do. And unless you've got a whole stack of cash sitting on the side then you know really you can just try and ride it out because you can panic and sell right now thinking this is going to happen and then tomorrow or monday or whatever it was just the options and it all starts to fire back up it's really hard to know you know try and have some cash sitting on the sides at all times now i deployed some cash today i've still got more cash so it's not the end of the world but what i'm not going to do is panic sell because what a lot of people do is see stuff like this and then they'll probably panic somewhere near the bottom and just think this is going so much lower and then unfortunately they'll start to buy back in here 
and that's where they really get burnt. Again, I've got to stress, I'm never offering you financial advice. I'm just giving you my personal opinion from making mistakes in the time. So it's not just the crypto space that is really doing it tough right now. Again, I mean, this is one hell of a, a drop for stocks. It really is quite a big one. Now again, stocks could come down to about here. I'm not saying they will, but maybe 4,554 on the S&P, something that you can sort of look at over the next few days. Again, old resistance suddenly becomes support, but we've got that sort of around about here. Here's some support uh, uh, and sort of resistance, I should say, now hopefully becoming support. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, we go and look at the Bitcoin chart. Now it was brutal. I had my buy-in orders here and they kept getting missed. I just couldn't t uh, trigger them, so I put them a little bit higher and now look what happens. I should have just left it. I'm kicking myself. Don't get me wrong. I've still bought Bitcoin a whole lot cheaper than the $69,000 it was. I picked it up for, I think, about 58000 Oh no, sorry, that was Australian dollars I was looking at. So I think I've picked it up somewhere around about here. So about 56,800. So it is cheaper and I am considering buying some more, but really I'm just keeping money on the side because again, it is definitely possible that maybe it's gonna come down to around about here, 53,000 over this weekend. And look, the scary thing is maybe we gotta come back down and test something in around about here or even God forbid, somewhere around about here 42,000 I would say is definitely on the cards particularly if all this you know new strain stuff really sets in we could see a quite significant dip but we'll just have to wait and see and look in the end if that happens it doesn't really matter what market you're in you're going to get hit it's really you know were you lucky enough excuse me to be in cash to really be able to take advantage of it so look unfortunately uh most of us probably don't have a lot of cash you know some of the really smart people do and i've got a bit of cash sitting on the side i just don't have a lot because i deployed you know about i'd say a third of my cash today now if it continues to go lower like i said i've got more than you know i'll be fine but it really is just you know i think this is the biggest one it was the options i've been speaking about it and friday came and boom we got that big drop and also this you know what's going to happen with the possibility of this new strain is it going to explode and be even worse than the last one but you know we'll have to wait and see how good you know th these vaccines are so even though there's a new strain and that could be really really bad hopefully these you know the vaccines will you know it, they're not going to stop us from getting sick but hopefully it just means we don't get really sick and again everyone has to go into lockdown and things like that that will be really bad but all i wanted to do is come make a quick video and say look it's not the end of the world it always feels like it is and very few people can see this coming but again i i knew we'd see a drop and you know unfortunately silly me i I, I was I kept missing here so I decided to up it and then you know it's gone through it and so I could have picked it up but I'm going to keep an eye on the market over the next few days and I'll just wait and see you know how things go and then you know possibly buy some more on this dip and do I know where the bottom of this dip is no I do think we're kind of close I think it's possible that you know we come down to here well I think it's probably likely actually that we come down to here now whether it'll be a full thing or a wick and we're pretty close already so this could be the bottom but what I am keeping in mind is that it's definitely possible that we see something like this if people get really really spooked that is a possibility uh, I don't think that's likely this is just the market being the market all right that's it from me stay safe be kind to one another, pretty hard to be on that gain train at the moment, and I'll see you next time.